All right, guys, so now we want to be able to remove items from local storage, because right now if I remove it from the DOM, that, I mean, it goes away, but if I reload, it comes right back, because it's displaying from local storage. Now, there's a few ways we could go about this. What I want to do is, like we did with the add, instead of just calling remove item, I actually want this to just call a function called like um, on, on item click, because later on, not only are we going to focus on um, deleting with, you know, clicking this, but I also want to be able to click on the item anywhere else and have that get put in the form to get updated. All right. So what we'll do is, is instead of calling remove item, let's call a function called on click item. Okay. Whether it's here or on the X. And then I'm going to go up to, let's go right up above remove item and create that function. So on click item. All right, we're going to pass in our event object here because now what we need to do is figure out what was clicked on. So this right here where we check to see if, um, you know, if it's the button, right? That's what this is doing is seeing if the button has a class of remove item. So I'm going to grab that and put that here. Okay, so now we're checking to see if it's the delete button. If it is, then we'll call remove item. And then what we'll do here is pass in the element itself, which is going to be the right here, the E dot target and the parent of that. Actually, you know what? Let's. Uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of how we should do this because I didn't initially do it this way. Let's comment out what we have and remove item for now. And then I want to pass in to remove item item. And then I want to console log item. OK, and then what I'm going to do is pass into here e dot target dot and parent element. I think that will be what's that going to be the button. All right, let's just try that. So if I click on one of these, yeah, it's the button. Um, so the button I actually want to remove, I'm sorry, the item I want to remove is the list item, which is the parent of the button. So again, we want to do dot parent element. So if I click on this now, we get the list item. So that's the item we want to remove. So that's getting passed in to remove item. So now this if statement right here, we can get rid of that. Let's just get let's just get rid of all this. OK, so we know that the correct the list items being passed in. So I do want to have the the confirmation. So we'll say if confirm and say, are you sure? then we're going to take that item element and we're going to remove it. OK, because remember, the item that's getting passed in is the actual element coming from this right here. And then we can use the remove method on any element to actually remove it. And then I also want to. Um, uh, we want to check the UI as well, so we want to call that. And then here is where we can remove from storage. So I'll just put a comment here and say remove item from DOM. And then we'll do. Uh, whoops, what am I doing here? Remove item from storage. So now we can call a function called remove item from storage. OK, now all we need for this, we don't need the actual element, which is what this is. We need the text inside of it. So we're going to pass in here text. I'm sorry, not text item. And then we want the text content that's on that item. All right, so now let's create that function. So we'll put that. Let's put it right under remove item. So we'll say function remove item from storage pass in the item, which is just going to be the item text. And then we want to get the item from storage. So like we did in a couple other places, so items from storage equals and then we'll call get items from storage. OK, 
Okay, and then from here, let's uh, let's just console log for now, just to make sure we're getting those. So we should be able to still delete it from the DOM. And then right here, it's going to call it's going to call remove item from storage, and then we're fetching our items from storage. Now to actually do the remove, let's get rid of this console log. We're going to use filter. So let's say filter out item to be removed. So we'll take we're going to set the items from storage to the filtered array. Um, so then we take items from storage and call dot filter because remember filter map these high order array methods these return a new array. So this will return a new array with the deleted item removed. So remember these take in a callback and we're going to say for each item we'll call it i and we'll say if i is not equal to the item that's being passed in. So that should filter out whatever item is passed in. And then we simply need to reset to local storage. Okay, with the the one that we want to be removed, removed. So to do that, let's say local storage dot set item and we're setting it to items as our key and then we want a json dot stringify before we put in our, our array and then pass in the array of items from storage. All right, so that should do it. So now I'm going to come over here and click on eggs and click OK and looks looks like we have an issue. Assignment to oh, so right here. Um, yeah, we want to use let here. So let's try that again. Okay, so that goes away. Now if I reload the page, eggs is still gone and it was removed from local storage. If we look in application, you can see that it's no longer there. All right, so I'll remove milk. Okay, if I reload, no longer there. If I remove juice, that goes away and so do the two elements the filter and the clear if I reload nothing there so everything's working good now I just want to do the the clear which should be pretty easy so let's just add a couple more in here and right now clear is, is not going to clear it from local storage so we want to handle that um, so basically all we have to do is go into clear items right here and let's go right after the while loop and let's say clear from local uh, local storage. So we can just simply do local storage dot remove item. We could either do remove item and then pass in our items key or we could do local storage dot clear, but that would get rid of all local storage items. Which in which in this case is fine because that's the only thing we have. Items is the only key that we're using in local storage. But let's go ahead and save that. And now if I click clear all, clears it from the DOM, and if I reload, it stays gone. Okay, cool. So the next thing I want to do is add update functionality. So if we have an item, I want to be able to click on it, have juice appear in here, change the button to an update button and be able to, to change it if I want and update. All right, so we'll get to that next.